Good day everyone and once again we are looking at question 4 uh, you know of uh, the NSC uh, DBE 2021 paper uh, that was uh, written in June okay so uh, if you haven't subscribed or if you're new to the channel please uh, welcome to the family please just hit that subscribe button and that notification bell all right uh, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy your stay here all right so um uh, let's start with that question four still looking at organic chemistry we've already covered question one two and three all right uh, please let's have a look at it quickly they say the flow diagram below shows the conversion of propane to propane to all okay so they do that in two steps okay they stay uh, they say state one reaction condition in step one okay so remember in step one uh, you're looking at an alkane there and you want it to react with bromine remember that alkanes are saturated uh, so which means that they're very difficult you know to 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 uh, to react it's very difficult to get them to react so what you need to do is just uh, we usually put uh, um, a heat or in this case uh, more specifically uh, they react in UV light okay so these guys would tend to um, uh, so you can say the reaction condition there you can either say UV light uh, or you can say uh, high temperatures okay right so that's high temperatures right uh, so for 4.1.2 uh, they say uh, write down the name or formula of the inorganic product formed in step one now i want you to note what's going to happen you're going to have a substitution reaction there that one of the bromide ions is going to replace one of the hydrogens so that means that one of the hydrogens would come off so the hydrogen that came out would now obviously react with the bromide ion that would uh, still be left there so the inorganic product would be a hydrogen bromide okay uh, next question and of course if you don't understand what we're talking about uh, it means that you haven't watched our videos on organic chemistry uh, please just do yourself a favor a huge huge favor uh, and go and watch that video it will really really help you uh, quite a lot okay right now uh, the next question they say name the type of substitution reaction represented by step two so now you've got hydrogen bromide there okay and you are now removing the uh, bromide and you are now uh, uh, you know um, uh, replacing it with an OH right okay so um, uh, we call that type of uh, substitution reaction we actually call it hydrolysis okay um, so that would be hydrolysis there all right so uh, they say write down the name of formula of the inorganic reactant needed in step two uh, so to actually do that uh, we use um, sodium hydroxide uh, uh, they said the name of formula uh, so i can actually just write sodium hydroxide or you can write it out in full sodium hydroxide uh, actually uh, you would uh, need uh, dilute uh, sodium hydroxide. I don't know if that would be important uh, to mention. Okay, so the dilute form of sodium hydroxide. Okay, and then they say write down the IUPAC name of compound X. Okay, we're just looking for the name. So remember that bromide would substitute one of the hydrogen there. Uh, so we would get um one bromo one bromo uh this is propane so that's one bromo propane okay there we go right and we go to the very next section okay uh this would be an easy 14 marks for us right okay so they say to you uh write down uh, so they say sorry ethane can be prepared from chloroethane okay so they are taking a haloalkane in this case um, and they say by two-step process you are supplied with the following chemicals 
All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, they say you are supplied with the following chemicals. So um, these are the chemicals that we have. They say select the chemicals in the above and the table above that can be used in the preparation. So, so they say using condensed structural formulae, right? Write down a balanced equation for each reaction, indicate the reaction conditions for each reaction all right so let's start with the first one so remember we've got a uh, a, a, a hello alkane there okay so what we want to do is perhaps let's change it into an alkene okay so what we're going to do is we take our uh, hello alkane i'm going to just write that uh, with a different color Okay, so I'm going to take my hello alkane, um, so that's CH3, CH2, Cl. I remember they did say we should write it in condensed formula, right? Okay, so I'm going to now react it with sodium hydroxide, okay? But this time around, we're going to use concentrated sodium hydroxide, okay? So that's the condition here. Okay, so we're going to use concentrated sodium hydroxide um, and uh, it's now going to eliminate the chloro as well as the hydrogen uh, in, the, in the one uh, uh, carbon. So I'm going to have on the other side CH3, uh, CH, uh, yeah, so that's going to be uh, yeah, so, so okay, it had two. Actually, I'm thinking about the previous question. Uh, so this would be, um, yeah, the chloro and the hydrogen there. Sorry. So this would be CH2 and CH2. So that, remember, the chlorine we've taken away here, uh, the hydrogen we've taken from there. So we're now left with CH2, CH2. Uh, but uh, please keep in mind, so what happens is that the hydrogen chloride from there reacts with the uh, base there. And what you now form on the other side is sodium, hydrox uh, uh, sodium chloride, rather, uh, sodium chloride and H2O. So that would be a typical uh, acid-base reaction. So that would be plus H2O. Okay. Uh, sorry about that untidiness there. Okay, so sodium chloride and H2O. Okay, right. And then what you're going to do in step number two is that I'm going to now take the, um, you know, the ethene. Okay, and we are now going to react it with, uh, remember where we're trying to go is we're trying to form an alkane out of it. Okay. Uh, so we're going to take that CH2, CH2, okay, and we now need to react it with hydrogen, right? Uh, so that's H2, and what would happen in this case? We would now get on the other side CH3, uh, CH3. Now let's talk about the conditions of each. Okay, so remember when I'm, uh, um, you know, when I'm reacting uh, uh, sodium hydroxide, uh, of course we use concentrated sodium hydroxide, but it must be in high temperatures, delta H, okay, uh, in the presence of ethanol, okay, uh, which is also what was provided over there okay uh, so that's the first one those are the reaction conditions for this one okay and now uh, uh, going for the second uh, reaction usually platinum uh, is used as a catalyst so uh, maybe let me write it at the bottom there all right so remember that uh, you've got a catalyst uh, in the form of platinum over there. Uh, and so those are the two reaction conditions. Okay, uh, I just want to show you uh, an alternative. Uh, you know, if let's say you didn't want to use that one, there is another way that you could do it. Yeah, you could get an elimination reaction. Let me just quickly show it to you. So you could use uh, H2SO4 in the first reaction. Um, no, actually... 
uh, no actually not uh, you know you use h2so4 uh, for dehydration okay now actually forget i even said that yeah <laughs> i think this would be the end of this question all right uh, so that we would have gotten ourselves eight marks all right so please uh, if you haven't yet subscribed hey uh, what have you been waiting for hey uh, hopefully you've, you're able to follow on and understand this question and uh, I'll see you next time when we actually discuss the next portion, uh, which obviously will uh, entail the rest of the question paper. All right, and I'll see you guys next time. Shab shab.